Hey, what up guys? Yoni the Game Changer here. And today, I'm actually going to show you guys something that I just barely learned myself. Um, if you guys have seen some people's YouTube setups or their gaming setups that they have, they're showing off on YouTube. Um, as you can see, if they have more than one display, um, maybe you guys have seen them where they have their Call of Duty or their Battlefront or whatever they're playing spanned across all of their, all of their displays. And I was actually really curious on how to do that, and I had no idea how to do it. So, for those of you guys that aren't sure how to do it either, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Now, the way that I learned is only applicable with NVIDIA uh, graphics cards. So, if you have one of those, then this will work for you. What you're going to do, go onto your, just your desktop, right-click, and you're going to have this little option that says NVIDIA Control Panel. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to click on that, and it'll bring this up. Now... It might uh, show up under a different category that you're automatically on here. The one you want is Configure Surround. So you're going to click on that one, and it's going to bring you over to this. Now, there's on this top right corner right here, there's a little part that says Span Displays with Surround. What you're going to do is you're going to check that, and then you hit Apply. Now it's going to bring you to this so that you can go ahead and set it up and configure it. Um, if you have multiple, more than two displays or anything, it'll show them all right here. And you'll click on the ones that you want this to work for. And also right here is where you see your new resolution for as many monitors as you use. And up here is where you can configure your monitors with however you want to set them up. Now, once you set this up and you have it where you're happy, what you're going to do is you're going to go down to Enable Surround, click on that, and then your screens will turn off for a minute and turn back on and then you'll have just one giant display that spans across all of your displays. That's the first step. That's everything that you have to do with here. Then what you're going to do is you go in-game, whatever game you guys are playing, whatever you want to do this for, go into your settings options, and where it says graphics, you are going to go to the part where it says resolution, and that will still be where it was normally, where it was 1080 by 720 or whatever it was. Um, what you're going to have to do is, now that you've done this, and you have this new custom resolution, when you go into the drop-down menu for that, scroll down, and you'll have more options now, with bigger resolutions. So what you'll do, is you'll find the one that looks exactly like the one that it says right here in this box, and click on it, and hit apply. What that'll do, is now it'll configure your game to your new giant screen, and it'll span your game across the whole entire thing. Now, go ahead, check it out, see if you guys like it. Um, I thought I was really going to like it, but I tried it out when I was playing Black Ops 3. And for me, actually, the bezel in between the two screens started really bothering me. I talked to a few of my friends, and they said they play that way, and the bezel thing, you get used to it after a little bit. And I'm sure I would if I just gave it a little bit more of a chance. But I decided to return mine just to stock. But if this is something you guys want to do, and that's how you guys want a game, um, it's really convenient to do it with two and three monitors. If you guys have three monitors, it's the exact same steps to do that. The only difference is when you have three monitors, this resolution is going to be even bigger, this first number. Um, just because your display is even bigger, which means that it's going to be wider. So that's going to be the only difference, which means you'll have to find the new resolution while you're in game. But it's very, very simple to do, guys. Um, just follow these steps and you guys will have it no problem. If you guys need me to explain anything a little bit better, or if any of that confused you at all, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below, and I'm more than happy to talk you guys through it a little bit more. Um, once more, this is Johnny the Game Changer. If this helped you at all, or you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel a ton. I appreciate you guys' continued support. I'll see you guys next time.